evening, Barangay Lafil Nas, Day 18, Wednesday, May 18, chap, uh, 2022. I'm going to say chapter 22. <laughs> Romans 8.15 The spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Ava Father. We were foster parents to a teenage girl. We had the opportunity to remove the term foster from our relationship. The adoption decree stated that she shall be deemed and taken to be the child and heir in all our respects, the same as though born to them in lawful wedlock. Her adoption came with all the of the all of the rights and privileges of belonging to our family. When we put our faith in Jesus, we are adopted into God's family and transformed by the adoption process. We move from slaves to royal heirs of an eternal kingdom. Our identities and perspectives change. We have more confidence and no longer live by fear but live daily dependent on the Spirit's guidance. Becoming a son or daughter of God is all-encompassing and all-consuming. How we approach God is also affected by our adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, we are approaching the Father in the same way Jesus did when he prayed with dependence and confidence. Abba Father, thank you for adopting me into your family. Teach me to fully embrace my adoption as your child so that I may live in complete dependence on you, knowing your love which overcomes fear. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life and the life of the church? Please comment down below your reflection and uh, do your journal. Our devotion for tonight was written by Steve Hoffman, District Superintendent, Prairie Lakes. Thank you. God bless you. Barangay Levelness. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.